This is Kevin from Behringer Labs. What I want to demonstrate here is how to attach the Model 9100 trap bottle to our suction regulators. Uh, these are normally factory installed, but there's nothing to prevent you from installing these in the field. Uh, this uh, modular trap bottle will fit on any of our units except for the older 7702L intermitters. Uh, so any of our 7700 product, any of our uh, 7800 product, 3700 or 3800 product, you can install this on as a, an option. Uh, if you buy it from the factory, we should ship this with a 3 16 Allen key with a piece of surgical tubing on it uh, to aid the installation. Uh, if this didn't come with the unit, it's pretty easy to find a 3 16 Allen key. Uh, find a little bit of tubing and this is going to greatly aid our assembly of this unit. What you want to do is unscrew the trap bottle. Uh, and then just wiggle this off of here. There's an overing press fit that holds these parts in. I'm just going to very gently wiggle these components out. Uh, and the, main, the mounting screw is inside of here. And what we want to do is lead in our wrench. Uh, if you didn't have this piece of surgical tubing on here, the wrench would just slide through here. So that surgical tubing is going to help us. Remove the patient port from the bottom of the regulator. If there was a bubble barb on here, take it off. Uh, and what we can do here is just start this threading into here. And you really just want to make this hand tight. Now this white part here is a, a gasket that helps the sealing of this. We want to reinsert this back inside. And then the next thing we want to do is reinstall our parts. So the shroud lays over the clear tube. And then this just presses on top of here. And just push it in. You'll hear that O-ring snap fit in. Screw the bottle back on. Just hand tight. And now we've assembled a trap bottle of this unit.